I've been expecting you. Welcome back to Hobby Vault. My name is Skylar. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. So, happy Monday, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about Tamiya Cement. Um, if you are unfamiliar with it, it is a cement compound that basically takes the properties of your plastic pieces and it fuses them together like a chimera. Womp, womp, womp. Anyways, it basically draws the plastic into the adhesive cement and it fuses it together. So, when it comes to breaking apart, you could technically use something as simple as Gorilla Glue or just any kind of regular glue. It's not going to necessarily fuse the plastic to the piece and while it may hold, it may not be as durable as fusing the pieces together. So, what I've done today is I've taken some footage from when I was unassembling and this part broke on Cubile. Now, Cubile is an early 2000s kit and it was stuck in a poly cap that was just a bit too tight. So when I removed the leg off of the actual skirt piece here, this piece came completely off. So I'm going to go over the footage that I have here and show you how I use the, where'd it go? The Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. This is my favorite cement. I use it for everything. I break V-fins like a mother, like all the time. Like literally every single kit I build that is not a Zaku, I break the fin. It's like a mark of my craft. My battery died. Hmm. I'm going to input how my Monday's gone today with this little TikTok right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is why you don't drink water near your expensive equipment. I'm kind of terrified. I'm, I'm kind of terrified to look at my very expensive mechanical keyboard that I've had for several years and I can't afford to replace. <gasps> my Magic the Gathering mat saved the majority of it, but are you kidding me? Like, uh, this Monday, Monday! I have a case of the Mondays, as you can tell. Let's look at it together, right? Uh, oh my god. Oh, I'm so upset. No! Uh, it seems that the universe does not want me to create a video today, but I'm going to keep on trucking anyways. Now, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe below. I have a bunch of new subs and I'm eternally grateful for that. Every single morning I wake up and I'm just, my mind's blown that anyone even wants to listen to my ramblings because we're just building plastic Gundams, like model kits, like it blows my mind. So thank you if you are new and thank you if you've been here since the beginning because I've had this page or I've had this channel for quite a while. But anyways, so yes, let's get into the video and we, oh, um, also, little update about the giveaway that I am going to have this month for my birthday month. My birthday is at the end of the month and I have picked three kits. Now, I have not released which kits those are or the stipulation for the contest because I want to make sure that everything I do is entirely legal. So along with COVID restrictions, um, shipping and handling, which is far more expensive than the kits that I bought. I think it's going to have to be a USA only um, giveaway, but I am going to try and figure out a way that I can give something away to my international followers as well because Gunpla is international, it's worldwide. Like one of my favorite parts of the hobby, aside from building the kits, is talking to to like so many people from all over the world and you guys are all awesome and it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing and I love it and I want to be able to give back to you guys too. So please stay tuned whether you're a subscriber or subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you can see my giveaway. Like I said, um, I've chose three kits. There are three kits that are either my favorite suit or something that I find very special. And I am not sponsored, so they are not necessarily going to be like brand new kits. I do have one that's brand new, but I'm not sponsored. This is all my own money, so everything I got is just mine. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more special than just your generic, like, I'm sponsored by this person, so here's a kit that I was given. So maybe one day I can do that, but right now I just want to make it from the heart and heartfelt. And thank you guys so, so much. 
for all your views, any way you choose to support me, your messages, everything, it means the world to me. So let's get into my little janky footage of this broken off piece here. And again, if you have any questions, leave the comments down below and I will be more than happy to answer them. And again, as always, please check out my Instagram community. It is where I am most active and is where I have the most support. I have plenty of people there that are willing to help you. I answer it and check it every single day and post consistently. So yeah, let's go. Let's get into the video. All right, so this is the broken piece that I have there. As you can see, the parts have been separated or that's, it's two separate parts, two pieces of plastic and it has busted completely off. It was too tight in the poly cap and it just busted off. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the piece and generally it's a clean cut and you wanna make sure that it's the exact way that it broke off. Um, with the cement, you kind of have a little leeway for a little bit of creativity. So you could technically put it on and kind of just mash it on there, but you're gonna lose a little bit of your actual length from your part. So it's better to just, you know, put it on there exactly like it was broke. So here we go, we're gonna open it up. And again, here it is. This one is, I got it at Hobby Town USA where I get everything. It's $5.50. So you're going to take it off and you're going to set it on the part that is broken. Now you can either do it on the actual part that's broken or the base part. I like to put it on the part that's biggest so that you have the most surface area to be able to put the broken part on. So then you're going to, as you see here, you're going to press it down and you're gonna hold it for just a few seconds. Now this I kind of do by feeling. There is no particular time limit. You, well, I mean kind of. You just wanna make sure that it's correct and it's right. So as you can see here, I've set it and I'm just gonna leave it alone. Now, depending upon the part that's actually set, you might wanna bind it with clamps or something like that or an alligator clip, anything that will actually help you adhere the piece and make sure that it stays. So as you can see, it's pretty fast acting. This part was a pretty clean cut, so I didn't really have to do too much um, for customization for it. I literally just bloop, plopped it right on and it was good to go. Now, this is another part that I see too. So when you put it on, as it starts to fuse, you may start to notice a couple of cracks or just where it's not quite meeting the part. So what I like to do is take the extra thin and put it inside the crack and just double check and make sure that I put the pressure down on the piece to make sure that it fuses completely and cleanly so that you have a clean exact, you know, adherence to it. It's pretty simple when you think about, like, it's a broken part. You wanna put it back together and you want it to be as close to normal as possible. Now, it being broken is not a normal condition, so of course it's gonna be a little bit harder to actually do it without adding a significant amount of extra material. But yes, here we are again. Um, I'm going to make sure that I've gotten every single groove and every single part, and I'm gonna press down. And at this point, it works pretty fast. You don't wanna mess with it too much because seriously, like, I mean, this has been sitting for a couple of days now and look, like it's just as, just as solid as if it were the other side. So as you can see here, I'm kind of moving it around and playing with it and making sure that it's exactly where I want it to be. And then you just set it down for just a little bit. I like to leave it um, at least for a few hours Ideally, I leave it for a day. Um, if you're working on a project and you really wanna make sure that it's good, I like to leave it for a day and make sure it's good and kind of um, test it. Make sure that it's actually adhered to it and is appropriately attached to it. But as you can see, like here it is a couple of days later, like, I mean, I'm putting a fair amount of pressure on it. And, you know, especially for this part too, this is a part of the skirt. So it's kind of a big deal that, I mean, the legs, like, you know what I mean? Like the legs are gonna be attached to this. Now, this is gonna be a fully custom kit, so I'm just gonna make sure that everything's gonna be um, cemented and adhered to anyways. So it's really not that big a deal that it's perfect, especially at this piece. But if we're talking about something that is superficial, like on the outside, um, you know what? I'll make a video on how you make sure that you get the perfect seam line. And especially if you have a divot or some sort of gash inside your plastic and you wanna make sure that the part looks as close to you, like normal as possible. Um, also, I will create a video on how you get parts or find the runners that you need um, for parts if you break a part and it's just beyond repair. But here, we're trying to do things on the cheap cheap and do things correctly. So this is your best bet to start with is good old Tamiya like thin cement. I will leave in the description 
where I where you can get this right now actually my hobby town it's very difficult to get many things because obviously I'm in an area that is fairly um, popular when it comes to Gundams like I have quite a few people here in my area who do actually buy Gundams and paint you know tanks and trains and stuff like that so it's a little hard for me to find this in person is it easy for you guys to find it because it's not easy for me like I said um originally yeah like I said, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so it's not like I have a plug for any of this stuff. So I depend on, you know what? No, my plug is my Hobby Town USA. My Hobby Town USA is, I think it's the biggest Hobby Town USA in the United States, or I think ever. I think it's the biggest one, and I think it's one of the oldest ones too. It's in an abandoned movie theater. It's really cool. You know what? Maybe I'll show you guys that one day. So stick around if you want to see that. But yeah, I will put the link in the description as to where you can get this if it's a little bit hard for you to obtain it. I prefer the thin, the extra thin, compared to the regular cement. The cement, like just the regular, it'll be a, like an octagon shaped bottle. It's heavy duty. It's a, I mean, they both are heavy duty, but it's a little bit more intense than this one. I like this one. This one works best for me. I suggest this one. If you like the regular cement better than this one, please feel free to let me know. But yeah guys i think that's it so thank you again for listening to my rambling if you guys have any questions at all leave them in the comment section as usual check my instagram community it is the absolute best and stay tuned for my giveaway and that's it guys so have a good rest of the week i hope it's better than my monday's been because my monday has been utter crap oh oh I did get a P.O. box. I got quite a few people who were asking to send me stuff, which I think is absolutely amazing because if I can send something back to you or there's something that you want from America, like send me a message on, you know what, send me a message on Instagram and I'll be able to get it and maybe we can swap things. But yes, anyways, I love that. I love the community. I love Gundam. I love Gunpla. Yes, Gunpla is freedom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good week, guys. Bye, see you in the next video.